like what would happen if you just drank protein for a week? <laughs> so today I decided to embark on a new journey. I'm doing protein shakes for one week, protein shakes only. And let me preface this. I tried to do this before and it did not work well. <laughs> I got so lethargic and tired and I guess I was in like ketosis accidentally. Um, and I just had so little calories that I just couldn't handle it. And the max I've done this was for three days straight. This isn't for like a trend or a cleanse, but I wanted to challenge myself to see if I could do it. And secondly, like what would happen if you just drank protein for a week? <laughs> so that's what this journey is about. Um, we're going to start day one and I will document my process. So join me on this journey and uh, let's start. halfway through the week. This is day four. And I'm realizing this has become way more than food, right? Um, I've started realizing that like all the the things I'm not eating, right? Because it's this is like the anything that's not in the shake, the meal replacement, is it's like when I'm at work Right, and we have a big bucket of chocolate sitting there because we have like s'mores and stuff for dessert for the people. And of course, you know, like there's extra chocolate we can nibble on it or whatever if we get hungry. Um, and even like eating food at my work because I work at a restaurant, I can easily just like order food, right? Um, and it's so funny realizing now, like. It's only been four days that I haven't ordered food. And like the the power of self-control and realizing like how strong it is in this moment. Because I could easily just get food, right? I get it at a discount, so it's not even that expensive. But it's like, I'm choosing not to eat it. And because of the choice of like, hey, I'm not gonna do this thing, I purposely want to do it that much more. <laughs> like when you decide to give up like a really bad habit, like if you give up cigarettes or you give up drinking and then like all you think about is wanting to drink or wanting a cigarette. And like I, I'm at a point right now where I'm not thinking about food all the time, but it's just funny to see how, because I decided not to do something, how much my body wants me to do it, right? Like, even the times when, you, when like, you think you're hungry, but you realize, like, oh, I'm not really hungry. I was just thirsty. Or I'm not even hungry. Just that thing looked really delicious. And you started, you know, snacking or eating. And now that I'm choosing to not do it, I'm seeing, like, how, you know, weak I am in terms of self-control. And it's, you know, like, this is getting way deeper than I thought it would be. I was just like, oh, I'm just not going to eat you know, just protein for the week, but it's like, no, this is a huge deal. This is like, <laughs> like, this is like life, you know, if you don't have the ability to have self-control, like, like besides just food, right? Besides right, weight gain or, you know, like having a body that doesn't work. Like, are there areas of your life, whether it's relationships or, um, family friends or like dreams that you have for yourself like and all you would need to do is give yourself a little bit of self-control right to do that hard thing to put in an extra time to study or put that extra effort into your relationship um to wake up 20 minutes earlier right to do something that's going to move you forward in your life like to have that level of self-control and it, and it would just greatly improve your life. 
But to come to a point where you're like, oh, I'm actually really weak. Like, I don't have the self-control I thought I did. I don't have this level of determination. So it's really sobering to see that. But also, I'm really hungry. <laughs> you know, um, not really hungry. But it's just funny to see how, you know, like, well, every, I believe everything in your life is connected, right? It's not just this thing is that the relationships are just relationships and work stuff is work stuff like everything is one big thing right it's all like it's all spaghetti right your whole life is connected if one thing's not working out in your life it's probably because something somewhere else isn't working so seeing how with food i lacked self-control um or at least realized to a level that to a degree a degree in which like i get to have more Right, like that shows me all the other areas of my life where it's like, you may have self control here, sure, but there's so much more that's available to you, um, and I thought that was a great, great insight. So, just an update. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm just gonna keep going with it. Um, it's been getting easier and easier to deal with every day. So maybe tomorrow, uh, you know, it's gonna be a little bit less and less. But uh, yeah, I'm. It's working. I'm feeling fuller faster um yeah and i know that like partially my body just getting used to not eating a lot even though it's only been a couple days and the point is obviously right not to like slow down my metabolism so much that i just don't eat anymore but it's to just do this challenge this really hard challenge and to prove to myself that i can do it like this video will be the perfect uh, what's that word perfect evidence right of when i tell myself oh this is too hard i can't do it it's like oh hold up remember that thing you did for a whole week right you tell yourself that you're not strong and you're not worthy and you can look back and go well remember that time i did that thing and i proved to myself how i was worthy how i am worthy i can have good things in my life yeah it's, this is like that so <laughs> just a little bit of a little realization here right the power of food i love it it's so important <laughs> See you tomorrow. So here we are one week later. And a couple things I've learned is one, all of the time, money, and energy that I've saved from doing meal preps, which I do very, very often every week, learning that there's always room for growth. And someone like me who's done this for years, I thought I had it down pat. I thought I had a flawless system, but uh, doing this challenge, I've realized I spent a lot of time around food and cooking and if it saves me an extra 20 minutes a day, an extra 30 minutes a day, like think of the possibilities. A new habit you could develop, um, showing up earlier to work for your children, for your family, whatever your circumstance is, time is really important. An extra 10 minutes a day can blow your mind. Secondly, I learned, uh, <laughs> yeah, like if you didn't hear in the middle of the video, there's so much potential that I have, that you have. And if you're willing to put a little bit of work in to get a little bit of that self-control, it's amazing what you can achieve. It's amazing how you can see your growth slowly happening over time. And lastly, uh, I learned that I don't want to do this again. <laughs> uh, challenges are fun. They're exciting. Uh, but there's a reason they're called challenges because they're hard. So I'm not going to be doing this again, but I hope that this video was a great resource to anyone that watched it, anyone that doesn't really believe in themselves, or even someone who's just wondering what would happen if you ate <laughs> protein for a week. If you love fitness, nutrition, and cosplay, then this is the channel for you. I'm the Fit Cosplayer, helping you become your inner superhero. So go ahead, subscribe, and like ring that notification bell. And if you haven't already subscribed, do that right now and click this playlist right here to see all of my cosplay workouts. And if there's a video that you want to see in particular, go ahead, leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys. And remember your results show up when you do.